guys, so today I'm going to do a really quick review of some of the conditioners that I've used over the past year. Everybody always asks me, like, Sophia, like, what's a good conditioner to use? Co-wash and whatever. So I figured i just show you guys now from what, what I have, um, what I like, what I love, and what I don't like. So that's going to be, like, my new rating system whenever I do, like, bulk reviews like this. It's love it, like it, and then leave it. So first I'm going to start... Oh, at the bottom with the leave it things that I didn't really like and I only have like two really one is the lustrous silk shea butter cholesterol conditioner um, it's really cheap like 279 at Sally's but it didn't do much for my hair um, so yeah and another one this one like I feel like I actually hated it it was Avita's Dry Remedy um, Conditioner, and I think the reason why I probably hated it so much is because, first of all, it didn't work that well, and then it was kind of like I'm mad at myself because it cost like 20-something bucks. But um, this did nothing for my hair at all, and 20-something dollars for like almost 7 ounces, like, of course it didn't last, so. I, I tried to stick it out with this, but I didn't like it. So that's my leave it section of stuff that I really did not like. Okay, next is like it. So first I have um, Oil and Handmaid's Honey Hemp Conditioner. This is a nice conditioner. Um, I like it a little bit better as a leave-in. And I found that it worked better on my hair when I was transitioning um, as compared to when I was actually natural. Um, and I'm not a fan of the smell. But it's okay, and I know a lot of people like it. Um, another one that goes in the like it category is Desert Organics. Green apple and ginger. I know when I did the review of this, it's like, I love it, I love it. Um, and that was initially. And it is a good conditioner. But the reason why it really goes into my like it section is because of the small size and the fact that I can't find it in any stores um, near me. But it's a good. Next one is Yes to Carrots Pampering Hair and Mud Conditioner. This is the first product I tried from the Yes To line. And at first I was like, oh my god, I love this. Like, I like it because it's a conditioner, but when you put it in, your hair kind of like foams up and lathers. So it kind of like goes a long way. Um, you can kind of stretch it out if you have a lot of hair. And it's just so moisturizing and everything. And it has a nice smell. Um, price is reasonable. And it can, I know now it's a little bit harder to find. Like, I used to be able to find this all over the place in like Walgreens and everything. Now I have to go to like Alta or Target, which are very close to where I live, um, to find this. So, this is Like It. So, those three were Like It. Some others that would go in my Like It um, categories would be um, the Giovanni. Um, I don't remember what it's called, I don't have the bottle anymore. But that's an okay con conditioner. Um, so now it's Love It, which is like my favorite conditioners that I've been using for a while. So the first is Yes to Cucumbers. Um, this is like a favorite of mine. Like whenever I go to a store and I see they have it, like I'll get like all of the bottles because I love this. Um, it's very similar to Yes to Carrots, but I just feel like the Yes to Cucumbers is a little bit more moisturizing for some reason. I don't know, you know, what, what it is. Um, and this one is for colored hair. I guess if, if you have color, your hair is supposed to protect it. Um, what else can I say about this? I like this because this this conditioner, um, I like for using for deep conditioning. Um, because, you know, it's a little bit hard for me to find. I try to save it so I don't, I don't use this every time I co-wash. But um, I like it because it's a little bit thicker. So I feel like it's, it's really good for deep conditioning. I also love this. Um, as a leave-in. This works great as a leave-in. So um, what I'll do is I'll co-wash with something else and then I'll put this in my hair and then I'll just twist it. And sometimes I might add a little bit of coconut oil or shea butter um, to the ends of my hair, but my hair comes out so soft and moist the next day. And with me not putting so much product in it, it allows it to dry faster and my hair takes forever to dry. So this is, this is like a multi-purpose conditioner which I love it doesn't leave any build up on your scalp or anything so it's great and if you use this to like detangle like it just like turns your hair into like this soft something that you can just glide your fingers in a comb through so this is one of my top favorites like all these I pretty much love the same but I love this one a little bit more because I can use it as a leave-in and it's really moisturizing doesn't throw out my hair or anything my next favorite is 
Aussie Moist. And I love this because it's cheap. It does a really good job on your hair. Um, and this is 33.8 fluid ounces. Like, it's huge. And, it has, and I also love this one because it has a pump. Like, I can't tell you guys how nice it is to be in a shower, you know, washing your hair in the kitchen sink. And you're not, like, picking up this huge bottle and having to squeeze it. You can just pump out whatever you need. It just, it's, it's easy to use, I guess. Um, I don't, I don't think I've ever tried using this one as a leave-in. Um, but, um, it doesn't really leave much build up on the hair. It does have dimethicone in it if you're against that. I've not really. Um, but this this is a really good, very moisturizing conditioner. Really good for detangling too. And next one, the last one, is Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner. I haven't really met a Suave conditioner that I don't like. I used to use the, um, the Suave Humectants, which is also a really good um, conditioner, but um, this is just the one I happen to be using right now, and I really, really like it. It smells really, really good, and it's 32 fluid ounces, and I think I got this for like 2 or $3 at a Walgreens or something like that, so you can find it at really good prices. So I like, you know, things that are that are pretty cheap because it kind of helps like balance out the other things that I buy that are a little bit more expensive. So if you're looking for like a really good cheap conditioner, then I would de definitely recommend the Suave or or the Aussie Moist. The Yes to Cucumbers is probably going to run you about $8 or something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's the rundown of the conditioners that I've used. My favorites, my love-its, my like-its, and my leave-its. And I guess I'll briefly, I'll briefly, um, okay, so I'll briefly talk to you guys about what I look for in a conditioner. Um, I guess I do, I definitely do look at price. Um, I try not to spend too much on conditioner because it's something that I'm going to run through really quickly. Um, another thing that I look for is I've mentioned in previous videos and any hair product that I use is how easy is it for me to find it. Um, online shopping is cool and all, but I like to be able to just drive to the store and pick up whatever I need. Um. So, yeah, it's important to me, to me to be able to just go to a drugstore, maybe, or just go to the hair store, or go to Walmart, or whatever, and be able to find a product. Um, something else that's important to me is how much product that I actually get, you know. Um, I use a lot of conditioner in my hair. You know, I don't use much shampoo. I'm pretty much using conditioner. And so, um, I'm a little, you know... Eight, six ounces, eight ounces. It's not going to take me very far. Um, that'll probably only last me a few washes. So, the bigger the better. Um, other qualities I look for, I guess, um, is how the conditioner holds up uh, during the conditioning process um, or the detangling process. Um, does it make it easier for me to detangle my hair? Does it make my hair feel hard, you know, after rinsing it? It's just things like that. So, yeah. Alright, so that's it. My camera's about to die. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. As always, I have questions. I have a new blog. I'm going to post the link below. I'm still, like, working on adding entries to it and everything. But it's a great way for you guys to ask me questions and stuff. So, um, yeah. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. About to go watch Team Mom, by the way. <laughs>